You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a... Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of Nuke in old Detroit. The most potent, addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh man, you're gonna have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. New guy, us torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old fashioned murder. We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. Alright guys, so hello everybody, Kevin here, Rafted94, welcome back to the channel, and today, as you can see here guys, we are finally checking out Robocop Rogue City. Now, this is a game that I've been keeping an eye on for a very long time, since they announced that thing a year ago, maybe two years ago. Judgment day is here. Uh, but I did play the demo that came out I think last month and uh, I, overall I found the game pretty good although it was very glitchy the performance wasn't the best but it looks like they might have fixed the performance hey, we're here for the show. maybe uh, we have to get oh I will uh, but yeah I think we got to get into some action before we determine if the performance has gotten better or not but yeah, uh, if you guys haven't uh, don't know what this game is about, this game is pretty much it's a it's a shooter that is taking place in the Robocop universe. So this game is taking place between Robocop two and three. So it's kind of a good you know gap between the two. Uh, Robocop is probably the one of the most iconic sci-fi movies of all time. Probably one of the best as well, along with Terminator and Aliens two. Uh, but yeah, Robocop at its time was just, man, what a great movie. Robocop 2 uh, is questionable, but I think overall the movie was very entertaining to watch. And Robocop 3, we don't talk about Robocop 3. Let's just forget that ever exists. 
I would say the first two movie we have to say is pretty good. Uh, is 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 probably one of the best in my book. And even the 2014 Robocop movie, although not as iconic as the classic movies, I think it did a pretty good job in trying to modernize, you know, Robocop as well. I think the new one was pretty good too. I think that one came out back in 2014. Uh, but. Yeah, we'll see how this game goes. Uh, and, uh, I think it's, good. it's starting out exactly how the demo is, so we're not in entirely a blind playthrough yet. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward in checking this game out, uh, the full game, to see what kind of new twists that they're going to add. Uh, and, uh, we'll see how this game is going to you know, bridge the gap between 2 and 3. Right, here we go, we're at Channel 9 News Building. And uh, we got to report to the lieutenant and see what the heck is going on here. We can't wait any longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir, Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis. The hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude. The police want us to release the hostages. So no hard feelings. Hey, you, you can't go in yet. We need to wait for the reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, oh yeah, now we're getting to the action, and it looks like, oh, get out of here, so it looks like the performance uh, have been fixed looks like, because last time I played this game was a little bit buggy, like the performance uh, was like all over the place, but it seems like that got fixed, of course it got the most iconic theme of all time, Probably gonna get copyrighted, but you know what? It's worth it. It is absolutely worth it for this soundtrack. This is just mm, so epic. Uh, let's get some of that evidence. So yeah, as you can see, this is not my blind playthrough since I did play the demo. So uh, not my first uh, rodeo here, but once we get to like the city part, that's where things get a little bit e. Okay. Oops. Okay, sensitivity is a little bit off. I got to fix my sensitivity a little bit. I have to turn that uh, DPI down a little bit. Nope. Woo! Okay, now it's too slow now on the DPI. Uh. I think that's everybody. Oh, one more. <laughs> that's all that. Excellent. 
Evacuate. All right, there we go. There's our first one, and yeah, the phone seems to be uh, fixed from the looks of it. Game is running a whole lot better than it was in the demo version. The demo version of this game was just, it was rough. That's all I gotta say. All right, let's see if the elevator works. 2,000 pounds, 10 person. Yeah, we're probably gonna take the whole space in the elevator. <laughs> Lewis, you're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. No, oh, I will. Right, now we got now we got Lewis with us. Too. Obviously I'm not entirely sure if she's voiced by the original actress. I know uh, the original actor who plays Robocop, Peter Waller, voices Robocop in this game as well, which is and an always a big plus when you have the original vo uh, actor to voice the character again. Huge plus. So, but I'm not sure about Anne Lois here. I'm not sure she's voiced by the original voice actress, but if so, that's great. If not, that is graffiti. Is uh, if not, I uh, said uh, she did a bit of a good job, you know. Try to capture the original ass of the character. Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Call of Duty style breach system. Mm. Woo! Any more tricks up your sleeve? I will go. What a warm welcome, don't you think? Ooh, just leave that guy. <laughs> Uh. Okay, gonna take out the Uzi a little small spin here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Uzi be slapping. Uh. <laughs> His head was peeking out just a little bit. Find a lot of evidence in my last playthrough I had. I almost shot Ann Lewis, holy shit. <laughs> Almost shot my own partner. That would have been a mistake. This guy is dead. Uh, cause of death, nuke overdose. Yeah, probably not by choice. Alright. Let's go ahead. Nope, we're all good. Okay, I think uh, she's supposed to say something, but... Yeah, she's just kind of stuck now. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, she... Okay, there we go. Now she's moving. Uh, yeah, she's supposed to say something. She's supposed to say a poor guy. Uh, you know, when she sees the dead body of that guy. She's supposed to say something, but I think the game kind of glitched out there a little bit. At least it wasn't game breaking. It could have been if she was... Oh! Excellent. Man, I gotta say, the gore in this game, though, whoo wee! It is absolutely brutal. Look at this. Fucking brain matted everywhere. <laughs> yeah, this game is not for the fair father, right? Uh, as it should be, because, you know, Wobocop should always be, you know, somewhat. Uh, should be somewhat gory, you know? I think after Wobocop, dude, that's where it kind of went in, because it went more family friendly for some reason. Uh, gotta win. Uh, okay, uh, Lewis just handled that like an absolute champ. Hey! Stop it! Get me an AK-47. There we go. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you can never imagine Wobocop with an AK-47. <laughs> I can't imagine that, but in, in this game, he does. That service box, isn't it? Hey, oh, hello. Why That's don't you nuke. check it out? Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Hopefully this works. Oh, right, here we go. You can use Robocop Vision to investigate objects or people to find clues, investigate objects, or mark with question marks. You hold the aim button while uh, looking at question mark to investigate it. So here we go. Boom. Circuit, uh, short circuit detected. 
I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. You are very resourceful. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Yeah, I think Robocop is kind of tripping balls there a little bit. Slime bags detected. Just look at that, boys! The police dog and its bitch! Not sure which one is which! <laughs> You're gonna take that back! Ooh, let's go. Ooh. Okay, who wants the TV monitor to the face? Ugh. Damn it, Lewis! Almost fucked. I almost shot you in the face. Ugh. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, she literally like it. She was like an inch away from me, uh, from blowing her head apart. Like Jesus Christ, it was like this close of me blowing her brains off. Like God damn. Oh, you okay, dude. Uh, get out of here. Yeah, I think you could grab people too if I last remember. I think it might be. Hey, <laughs> he's literally his ass. Okay. Make this work. <laughs> All right. Okay, that didn't go. Oh, AK man, you're dead. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Okay, well, this guy is gonna be a special occasion. And then, oh. Yeah, I took your armor. What did you do about it? He's dead. Alright. Okay, is, is V? Okay, no, V is night vision. Okay, that is new. <laughs> now, keep this in mind, I am playing this game early, uh, early access, so you can play the game two days earlier before release date, so maybe they'll release a day one patch to fix some of the nick and crandy. Just maybe. Oh. Woo! You're dead. Excellent. Got some more nuke here. Yeah, use some of the kill in. Uh, I would just say though, I think I might have changed the, uh, the, how the game look. I think the game l is looking a little bit better. Like, in terms of the lighting and shadows. About the TV. And then, oh, wow. That could have easily messed me up. Okay. Can't do straight, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Doesn't sound good. Uh, Lewis? I think she's... 
A hostage situation. When you face criminals who have taken hostage, you have only a few seconds to eliminate the threat and protect the innocent. Use your reflex to meet this challenge. Okay, Lewis? Are you still stuck back there? Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, she is absolutely stuck. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Uh. Mm. Woo! That's how you do it. Hostage save. Thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages, one with a gunshot wound to the abdomen, requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. All right. We're going to be on our own now. So we're walking the Wobocop 2 uh, suit only because, you know, since it's kind of in between 2 and 3, kind of figured, you know, he should be walking the Wobocop 2 uh, armor. And also you got Nuke still uh, going around too, which was the main drug from the second movie as well. So, must well keep in tradition and, uh, well with the Wobocop 2 stuff. Might switch uh, suits here and there, like the damage one. There should be a whole bunch of guys in this next, cor uh, next corner here. Dead. Ooh. <laughs> now, delete it. Okay. Who's next on the list? Uh, what? Okay, absolutely fuck up there. Hey! Okay, that didn't do shit. Absolutely fucked up on there. Nope, put that nade back. Okay. Get this recovery. That guy's armored. Dead. Whoa, massive starter there. Holy shit. Okay, frame's looking a little bit. He's dead. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm getting some weird visual stuff. Like, everything's looking a little bit blurry for some reason. Yeah, I'm not sure you guys can see that in uh, the recording, but it's, it's a little bit weird. Woo! You're dead. Okay, you did. <laughs> yeah, everything's getting a little bit like jittery. Not sure what's going on here. Could be the DOSS stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. We might have to restart the game once we complete this level. Okay. God. Jesus Christ. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> so action pack. Uh. You're dead. I think there's one more. There he is. Get over here. And then. Uh, uh, dead. <laughs> Hashtag dead. Oh my goodness, yeah, something is absolutely wrong with the game right now. Like, the frame is dropping like hella right now. It's like a weird visual glitch and sort of your effect that I'm getting right now. As I said before, I'm not sure you guys are getting that in the recording, but if you've always seen some weird graphical glitches, well, that is the game having a seizure. Right, but we'll keep going until the game crashes. Oh, it gets worse, that is. Uh! Yeah, not should I fix it? Yeah. Yeah, it's still having that weird effect, so. Might have to restart the game. Okay, so our hood is kind of fucked up right now, and Wobocop is also tripping balls as well. 
Because we all know what we're caught, you know. He's so human. They try to wipe his memories from the looks of it, and... Yeah, he still has memories of Murphy cell in a way. Oh. What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. But I do like this though, the storytelling. Uh, James really looks up to you. Where you know, even though that he wants to be a police officer, Wobocop is like a ba total badass. He's still human inside, and he's still going through that trauma. You know, seeing flashbacks here and there. Yeah, no other stuff here. He's coming! Kill the hostages! Okay, here we go. Uh. Woo! Do we got it? I think all the hostages are good, I think. Another one of those choppers, like the one that took soot. You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, shiny. Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her. I swear to nuke. I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You've got three seconds. Three. Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Promise me, it will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! I love you so much, Alex. You okay there, Murphy? Want. Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can't you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. 
but she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man once examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. <laughs> typical, uh, typical corporate, corporate man here. An absolute asshole. Not sure he's as bad as Dick Jones, though. <laughs> Dick Jones, probably the worst. Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. Uh, Ramirez, do you need any assistance? What seems to be the problem? <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Of course, I'm Robocop. I can get this open. Uh, Wait, what uh, is shit doing in my locker? They wanted you to be safe out there. Yeah, you guys, very fun. <laughs> Got some XP from that at least. So I don't know what happened, but the game's uh, frame rate was like completely unstable. So I had to restart. I had to restart the game at least twice because last time I tried to load into the police station, the game absolutely crashed. So it could be frame generation and DLSS could be the new NVIDIA drivers too that's messing up the performance in this game. But the fact this game is still not officially out yet until tomorrow. Uh, excuse me, or the next, or today, by the time you see this video. So, hopefully they have all that stuff figured out with the day one patch, because, yeah, it's pretty that damn glitchy. Walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. Alright, let's get right into it. Go to the holding cell. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So, better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Alright, here's our grade system. We're gonna have one main mission. Hey, Got all the hostages secured. Pieces of evidence collected. A shitload. TV apparently I found some secrets in the TV station, so <laughs> I guess I did good. Let's we'll see if we get an A or an S rating. A. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, and then, and then just where we can level up Robocop as well with our new, uh, with our skill tree system here. So as we develop skills, we can pretty much make Wobbacop easier. So let's open the skill tree. So we got three points to use. Uh, last time I got on combat, I'm thinking about getting in combat. Could put more on scanning as well or deductions. Uh, slow motion sounds really nice. Uh, let's get one in combat and 
Yeah, let's get slow mo. Why the hell not? Let's get that one. And then boom, there we go. I think we're all set here. Uh, save current skills. No printed circuit boards available for Auto 9. I'm pretty sure the Auto 9 is going to be our main primary weapon, unless we get the, the, the 50 cal sniper rifle from the first movie. Uh, I think the Auto 9 is going to be our main, like, go-to weapon throughout the whole game, which is fine, because that's his iconic pistol, so he has to have that pistol at all times. But there we go, our first A, which I kind of figured, because the last time I played the demo, I did not manage to save the hostage at all. Uh, I think one or two, if not all of them, got killed, so. <laughs> so, so at least we did um, pretty much an almost perfect run. I think we probably could have collected more evidence, but... Overall, I think we got that done pretty good. So, other than that, let's keep on going, shall we? Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent uphold the law okay nothing disturbed however like with any new upgrade i recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration is that everything actually no doctor oh yes sorry uh my name is dr olivia blanche i'm a police psychologist i specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma emotional trauma might as well talk to the microwave it hasn't been working properly either OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? It would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Hey, yo. Well, who do you call? Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. <laughs> this, this guy's an A-plus asshole. <laughs> like, like I said before, not as bad as Dick Jones, but he's, he's definitely an asshole. Uh, can we do anything? Can we talk to anybody? Can talk to her? Nope. Like how, see, I like how this game is keeping the original essence of the game, staying true to the source material. So we're, we know this game is taking place between two and three. Look, look at all this old school CRT computers. Absolutely old school. Flappy disk? Does anybody remember Flappy disk? Man, I feel really old now thinking about it. But yeah, those at the time were like the USB back in the old days. Nowadays, floppy disks are absolutely. Uh, uh, absolutely obsolete now. Uh, but yeah, that that was a thing back then. TV station. Good job you had Murphy in with you. You bet. Without him, we'd all be goners. Alright. Uh, we're supposed to go to the shooting range, right? So let's go down there. That's what Mira is. That's the lady with the locker. Alright, let's go to the shooting range. And this is where we're going to get our calibration done. Uh, this is the holding cell, right? Yeah, holding cell. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the shooting range first. Get that sorted out. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. All right, let's do it. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. Yep, let's see. Hmm. Easy. Unless you want to try to break the record. Oh, I'll try to break the record. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, I think I already, uh, since I loaded my old save, it kind of already counted. Like, I think 250 is like the match you can get. Like, maybe just make a challenge and, you know, having like a thousand. Or uh, not thousand, maybe 500 at least. I think 500 is a little bit pushing it. Woo! There we go. Those ones have to be uh, <laughs> chest shots for sure. Woo! There's a game a little bit intense. Woo! A little bit intense there. That sensitivity is a little bit E right now. Woo! Can we get to 500? Let's see. I think headshots will definitely give me more points. But sometimes you don't got time for that. Oh! Oh. We lost. There we go. Almost got 500. Almost got 500. But, you know, 411? Try to beat that. <laughs> You guys are screwed. All right, we got that done. Things are high time to get up there. Hi, how's Murphy. It, how's it going, officer? Uh, officer Ciso, that's his name. So I'm kind of curious how the story is because I'm not sure how the the guys who made this game are gonna do the storyline because they this is all the same people who did the uh, Rambo as well as Terminator, Terminator Resistance. In my opinion, uh, Terminator Resistance is one of my all-time favorite Terminator games. And uh, if you guys haven't played it, check it out. Because I highly recommend it because that game is... Would you give me a hand? That game is absolutely canon in my book. Like the way the story, you know, kind of goes in full circle. Like you guys need to check that game out. It's, I can deal with blood, it's absolutely guts, fantastic. No so hopefully they have. Hopefully they did the same thing with Robocop Rogue City as well. Hopefully they have a good storyline to go along with it as well. Oh. Excuse me, Bourbon Hot Dogs. All right, we gotta pick his ass up. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following. All right, carry the drunkard to the cell. All right, let's do that. I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's throw your ass Who's into the cell. Him? Just toss him in one of the empty cells. Oh, I will. Get your ass in uh, there. Ah, finally. Oh. Mm-hmm. Robo pig. Why do you have to our fun all the time, you metal freak? Well, I'm surprised you guys are alive. Absolute surprise. It wasn't me. I would just murder y'all, but you know, you got lucky that you surrendered. All right, before we go to the briefing room, though, let's go up into the main lobby here because there's another okay. side mission here. Could there he is. Help me out here? So I like it that there's a lot of you know different side missions you can do in this game, and of course, doing them is beneficial because you get XP. But not only that, also get a little bit more story talent as well. That could be crucial into the main missions. So I recommend doing everything. He is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. All right, Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. Uh, let's open a new line. This line is open. Please form <laughs> an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are hostile to work. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? Uh, not really disrupting public order. I'm just gonna issue him a warning, uh, cause I only did not deserve a ticket for that. No, but I will let you off with a warning. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price for having the cutest dog in all of Detroit. We serve the public please. trust. Uh, I, 
I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. I want details. You look like a criminal to me. I'm the guy from that poster, so... Yep, kind of figure. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. <laughs> Fine, but I still get the reward, right? You can hope for a reduced sentence, or no, you do not. You can hope for a reduced sentence. It's not the reward I was hoping for, but I'll take it. It'll be good to get back to jail. Life as a free man can be tiring. Take him away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. Uh, provide me with the details. Oh, come back in 24 hours. What Pro is his name? The address? details, please. George Elkins, 77... That's three public trusts in a row. Let me check. I think that's important throughout the whole main story. Was found dead two hours ago. What? Oh no. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Murphy. Yeah, it's a bit uh it's a bit cruel, but at least we told her the truth. Is that you know, of course not every mother would not like to hear that. No, no, nobody's mother would like to hear that news, but it is what it is. This is Detroit we're talking about, and uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy out there. Uh, did not thought of side missions for now, but incident report. Uh, typical of incident missing body person reporting Nancy McGuire. Officer found reporting Michael Briggs. Miss McGuire's husband body has gone missing and transported to Hawthorne's funeral home. Moreover, there is no information of such delivery in the funeral home's record. Additional comment is a dirt report on the missing cadaver this week. We need to look into it. So this, that, so that is going to tie into the main uh, quest lines as well as we keep playing the game. And look at that, we leveled up. Holy shit! All right, uh, yeah, let's get combat. Why not? Why the hell not? Yeah, I don't think it's not really necessary to upgrade. All of them. I think getting like at least tier one or tier two would be more than enough. Uh, dash. Not sure that would be useful. Crack can only open any sieve without knowing the combination. Guns a reprogram, a reprogram enemy terrorists. That might be good to have. It's a lot of skill points still. Ricochet. Ooh. Now that's really nice. Let you hit enemies behind cover. A bouncing bullet out a certain spot. Activate mobile vision to activate. <gasps> Man, I should have got that, to be honest. That would have been... Mm, that would have been really good. All right. Well, I'll get you there. Yeah, I think that's all the missions we got. I think we can head to the briefing room and call it. So, what's on today's agenda? The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. All right, let's enter the briefing room. It's no secret. The crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the torch heads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. 
But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there. All right, I do. We go ahead, partner. I need to write this report, and there's something else I need to do first. Well, at least we can snap her neck like all oh, like that. <laughs> well, at least I got her lightness pretty much uh, uh, down at least. Uh, what would cause to you know face in this game? It looks a little bit odd. It doesn't look exactly like Peter Waller. I think. In MK11, he, he, uh, in MK11, Wobbicon's in that game as well. I think Peter Waller looks more like Peter Waller in MK11 than in this game. And both games are using Unreal Engine, by the way. So, I don't know what happened there, but, you know, to me, uh, Peter Waller looks a little bit weird, to say the least. But, you know, that's just my personal opinion. Alright, well, I think we got everything done here. I think we explored everything. Unless, unless there's any more side mission to do. But other than that, I think we're ready to roll, so let's head into the next area, shall we? Do you want to leave the areas? Yes, let's go.